let's now taste the meatball first of all let's check if it's fully cooked see it's fully cooked welcome to just cuisine kitchen where we have fun and food together we have recipes we have eating competition and challenges we have food reviews if this is your kind of content, kindly consider subscribing and hit the notification bell. Hello and welcome to today's video. We're going to make meatballs. I will introduce some of the items I have here. I don't have everything here, but I have a few items. First, we have the mincemeat. We have eggs. We have two slices of bread. We have some water, we have the meatball maker, you will see how it works in the course of the video. We have uh, the ice cream scoop, I'll also show you what it will be for, and a knife. And of course a bowl for the mixing. So I think we, to start us off, we start the other small ingredients, uh, the spices that I am going to use, and the and salt are not here. So these are just the main ingredients. So we are going to start with bread. First, we are going to remove the edges like this. Yeah. So we are not going to use this. We are only going to use this part and then we slice it you can use my way here or you can use breadcrumbs yeah so whichever is easier if you have breadcrumbs you can use if you don't have and you prefer breadcrumbs you can check our video out we have a video of how to make breadcrumbs at home with or without an oven a link I'll put the link in the description box so that is one way so we are going to use this way so we have the small slices over here yeah. so we have everything set so what we are going to do we are going to add this to the bowl to the bowl like that then we are going to add some water then we are going to leave it for a few minutes to soak actually ours has soaked even faster yeah so we prepare the other items as we wait for seasoning we are going to start with salt some salt I think reasonable amount then ginger I love ginger so I put a lot oh sorry this is garlic so garlic I'm using powder because I thought it's easier to use for now but it's also advisable to use the raw one not the powder then some garlic a uh, ginger now I don't know why I'm interchanging them. And then we are going to use parsley. Some parsley. Um, and paprika. Then paprika. If you have been watching us for some time, you know my love for paprika. The last spice uh, seasoning we are going to use is coriander. The powder yeah it has been a few minutes so now our bread is fully soaked you will mash it a bit to ensure it evenly spreads and there are no lumps remember this collection of spoons is available on the just world collection online shop you can make your order and we deliver Across the country including this bowl that we are using 
Yeah, so we can now add the other ingredients. We're going to start with minced meat. This is beef. So I hope it's completely. Then we add the spices and then we add an egg. It is easier to mix with your hands, but uh, I prefer to mix with my spoon. Yeah, so let's mix the ingredients. I think we might have to give them a few minutes because there is a portion which has not fully melted. Is it melting or defrost? Yeah. So ensure that each and every part of the meal is fully mixed. Um, for our mince meat, we usually I usually prefer to shop. Get it So let's use each and every one, each of the two, and see which one makes better meatballs. This is a meatball maker. This is an ice cream scoop. So this is ideally what you're supposed to use. But if you don't have this, don't, and you have this, use this. If you don't have either of the two, use your hand. Yeah, so you scoop. This one might give us very big meatballs, so let's see. You scoop and then you put in the tray. Yeah, like I said, it will give us very big meatballs. And remember, they are kind of soggy because we used water. So let's use this. and see if it will give us better results and maybe slightly smaller meatballs. Why do I like smaller meatballs? Because they will cook well on the inside. Yeah, so see if this will give us smaller meatballs so you cut there and you have your meatball there yeah this one will give us, definitely give us more so that they can cook even in the inside but if you like the bigger one you are free to use even the scoop but there is also a smaller version of the scoop or even your hands depending on what you have so we'll repeat the process for all um let me just empty this and show you so this side is for making bigger meatballs with this side the two sides if you want smaller meatballs use this smaller side and this smaller side so you have the two options i don't want really small so that's why i'm not using this one let me use this one. Yes. Let me make the meatballs. One. 
I think I prefer using bread crumbs than the wet bread because I feel like they are a bit soggy and the, if you use bread crumbs they are usually easier to shape. We're going to first saute. The good thing is that I can pick it so it's not very soggy. And the only advantage when you use water, the water um, mixture is that it, it is, you can able to be able to saute and give it time to cook because it will not stick in the pan. This pan is not available on just World collection, although we have different other models. Yeah. This one I bought at uh, Gain. Yeah, so let's allow them to cook for a while. So let's turn to the other side. What? Without messing. But I like this spoon. The way it's doing it, I'm able to turn. Remember, the spoon is the set is available on this world collection. You can order yours. Yeah. So let's also allow the other side to cook. Oh, and I've reduced the heat, so it's cooking on low heat, so that it does not uh, speed up the cooking process considering there is the inside that needs to cook. So we remove them. We are going to put them in this plate. Like I said, I prefer using the breadcrumbs. They give better results. These are not 100% round. We cooked the second lot. The second lot was less, so we are doing only four. Our meatballs, as you can see, they are well cooked. The only thing is, I feel like I want to make a curry. So what I'll do, I'll take a portion, put in the fridge, and the other portion I'm going to make curry. But if you allow it to cook on the inside completely, then at this point you can just enjoy your meatball. But if you're like me who prefers curry, you go to the next step. For the hot oil, add onion and allow them to cook. Add the mixture to the onions. As you can see, it's full of color, which I like. So we mix so that we allow them to cook for a few minutes. Remember, you can grind if you want really smooth mixture or you can uh, use a blender. Yeah. Or even boil the tomatoes. Although it's a lot of work, you can boil the tomatoes and then you peel them. Yeah. Because we have added some ingredients, we're going to add some more salt so that uh, everything can have salt. And I'm going to add a little bit of cayenne and thyme only. Those are the only spices I'm going to add, but you're free to use your choice of spices. If you decide to use thyme, ensure you put some small quantity, otherwise it's going to make your food bitter. Cayenne is to your choice. For those who have been watching us for a while, you know chili is something to use in this house. Then we are going to add some barbecue sauce uh, again if you have been following us you know the amazing results from barbecue sauce in a previous video there are some people who said they wanted to try the barbecue sauce if you try it 
please comment down below and let's have your feedback did you enjoy did you dislike it please comment down below now with this uh, mixture i think we now have a complete ingredients for the curry and we are going to add water remember we are making meatballs so if you don't add water they are going to stick in your in on your pan so we add some water for those of us who come from that famous county you know this is too little but i didn't want to put a lot lest uh, my mother decides to come with a with a bucket yeah let's allow the curry to cook for a few minutes so now it is boiling and i think it's a good time to add our meatballs ensure the 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 sauce the curry has enough salt so we put in our meatballs for those of us who don't taste food it's important to taste whether the salt is enough i usually don't i just serve and surprisingly it's usually enough but uh, for purposes of such curries i always check so if you're like me please be checking yeah. so we give them time to cook remember now with the curry and the water they will because of the water they will not stick again this set is available on just one and what i like about this silicon set is it will not mess your meatballs like uh, the plastic uh, the metallic one would so please let's have the orders i'll put the set somewhere in the video yeah so let's leave them to cook for a while meatballs are now ready so we can just glaze them with spring onions i think these are leek spring onions are smaller yeah we are glazing with leek yeah let's now taste the meatball first of all let's check if it's fully cooked fully cooked yeah so you take your time so now let's taste hmm very sweet delicious hmm. Hmm. if you have not tried this recipe you are missing trust me you are missing so thank you so much for watching this video. Let me sit back, relax, and enjoy my meatball. If you're new and you have not or you have been watching and you have not subscribed, kindly support this family. Hit the subscribe button and join the Jest family. We're also taking your recipe requests and any video you want to watch on this channel which is food based comment down below thank you